Hey there, fabulous Winnie and Cat Independent Stylist. It's me, Tiff, here with your five must-have stylist tips for the week. When life gives you lemons edition. <laughs> so I don't know what the poor little lemon did to deserve such a sour reputation. But um, you know what? Sometimes when life gives you lemons, it's a great opportunity. And you know what? There are websites dedicated to the um, amazing uses of the lemon. So the next time life throws you a challenge, look for the opportunity. Always look for the positive in everything. So number one, if a hostess says she needs to cancel... First of all, find out why. The number one reason hostesses have to cancel is that um, no one's coming. So define no one. Maybe she invited 233 people on her Facebook event page and two have RSVP'd yes. It could be a bummer for a hostess. It could be a great opportunity for us. Who doesn't love that personal one-on-one -on -one shopping experience? And it's a great opportunity to show your knowledge of the product and your excitement about the product, and it's a great way to get to know people even better. Number two, if she does have to cancel, you know, that's a bummer. You've already found out the reason. Um, so say something like, you know, I'm so sorry to hear that, and this part's important. Who do you know who would love to have a one-on-one -on -one shopping experience? Maybe she has a friend who she knows loves her clothes. Every time she wears Winnie and Cat, she's like, oh, you know, where did your friend says, where did you get that? Um, find out, get that friend's information from your hostess, and then reach out for that one-on-one -on -one shopping experience. Now, if she doesn't know someone, maybe she's a new hostess, um, that's okay. Go through your old customer base and... Um, Find someone who wants a one-on-one -on -one shopping experience. Maybe who hasn't seen the new Melrose collection or the new Maxis yet. Um, our number one resource for new sales are past customers. So reach out. Number three, she needs to make a return. And oh boy, is she pissed. <laughs> it happens. And usually it's because that poor gal had a really bad experience before. So let her know right off the bat, first and foremost, it is crucial to you and the home office that she's happy. You are on her side and from start to finish, you're going to see her through this. So at that moment, ask her, what can I do to make start making this better for you? Maybe it's just starting the return process, or maybe it's just knowing that you're not going to try to cheat her out of something. You're going to make this a good experience. You know, among my friends, the ones who I follow their um, recommendations are the negative ones. <laughs> I have friends who don't like any restaurant. They don't like any brand of car. They don't like anything. But when they say, hey, this restaurant was great, I am there. So that negative Nelly customer can become your best ally. Give her a great experience. Be sure, by the way, while I'm on the subject, to reach out um, as this uh, product ship to your customers so that you can contact them and be really proactive. Sometimes if you can be a couple steps ahead of her, you can avoid that really annoyed customer and avoid something that is a little bit of a tough situation. Um, number four, you have a lead. Yay! She doesn't call you back. She doesn't text you back. She doesn't email you back. No worries. Um, sorry, Ava the Bulldog walking through is licking my leg. Um, so that's no worries. Um, you know, I wish I had a dime for every time Someone um, that I've been reaching out to for six months says, I'm so glad you didn't give up on me. And I mean it. It's been some ladies. It's been like six months. And maybe their mom got sick. Maybe um, something happened. You know, they needed a new roof. And she wasn't comfortable um, joining Winnie and Kat at that time. You never know. Don't take anything personally. What I personally do is I do a, a weekly constant contact, and then every day I reach out to 10 to 15 prospects on our prospect list. I use a spreadsheet to, um, to keep them all organized and to make a little mark with a date of when I've contacted her last and how I contacted her. Um, maybe I called and I leave a little VM for voicemail or EM for email. Um, I'll highlight it red if she contacted me back so I know which way of communication works best. I'm also sure to make sure I ask her, how do you prefer to communicate? And then if I'm friends with her on Facebook, I might touch base once in a while. I might comment on one of her um, threads on Facebook. Um, I don't use Facebook as a primary um, ways of communicating, but it's certainly a way to deepen her into our funnel and to let her know that we are genuine about our connection. So number five, don't forget, lemons can be our best friends. When life gives you lemons, celebrate. Look for the positive. 
Because sometimes that really negative experience that there's nothing good about can be something you relay to someone in your downline who has the same experience and you can go, you know what, I felt the same way. In fact, I had a similar experience where this happened and what I found is that I got, you know, a, a really great sale through my follow-up with that experience. So thanks for wearing it, sharing it, and working it, ladies. Let me know what your favorite tip is in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And um, I'll see you guys soon, or I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.